Hi there. Uh, we are working on Lab 10 here. I'm at the Tiger site from the U.S. Census Bureau. Uh, I just want to show you really quick a couple tricks about this data. And the reason that I throw this in here is because it's, it's kind of uh, powerful but uh, challenging data to work with sometimes. So we're going to use the selected demographic and economic data. Uh, give that a click. We're going to use this 2011 block group data. Blocks are pretty small. Um, so it's almost impossible to get this for the whole, whole United States unless you're ready to do a lot of aggregating and um, processing on the data. So that's why we're doing independent states. You can pick the state of your choice. Go in here and select your state. Um, it doesn't really matter for this example. I think I chose Montana or something like that. Um, the key is, so you're gonna, yeah, I already have a demonstration video on the uh, tutorials page called downloading and extracting stuff. Um, sorry, extracting data, <laughs> where I work through this. So I'm not going to do it again. But I want you to take a look at this. This is the kind of data that you're going to find in the attribute table of the um, block group shapefiles that you get. This is a big list. Um, and it, it covers everything from how much people are renting their houses for, what their mortgage is, um, their occupation, um, it's all kinds of different earnings, so it's independent per capita, per household, um, by age group, how much you're earning. So this is just a brief list of the kind of information you're going to get. Um, if I open that data in ARC, here's the Montana census data, and I'll open the attribute table, I think you'll see what I mean. Now the problem here is, it takes a long time to open because it's massive, is that, um, let me just make this fit. You can see how small this thing is. It's a massive table that extends to the right and left. So we have all of these codes. The B001, um, like we saw here, is sex by age. But notice how many of them are. So the very first one, let's see here, B01, there we go. Uh, this is sex by age. This is the overall estimate and then the margin of error on this value. And then we have E2, E3, E4, E5, each with their margins of error. So to figure out what all these e, E's are, all these different columns, you have to go into the metadata for this data set. And it's found, there's like a key. Um, if I go back, so this is the geo database that it comes in. There's a metadata file here. And if you open that guy up, sorry, I just added it to my map. If we open it. This is a key that we use to decode all of those um, fields in the block group attribute table. So here we had the 1001E1, that's sex by age for the total population. All right, so going through males 5 to 9 years, males 10 to 14 years, that's how many, so the, the values in those fields would be how many males live in that block group that are between 15 and 17 years old. It's an estimate with a margin of error associated for each one. So if we wanted to know um, if we had counties and we wanted to maybe aggregate um, the county or sorry the block groups that had um, males 60 and up we'd have to aggregate these together do a field calculation to add all those together. So there's going to be several different fields that show how many males there are between 60, 62, 62, 64, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, let's see what else is in here. This is, this is the whole point of that thing, though, is that each one of those attributes in here, each one of these field headers, corresponds back to this intermediary table. Whoopsie, this guy. This is where we get the specific explanations for what each one of those is. But in um, the census page itself gives you a kind of a brief overview so you can kind of skip to it. So you kind of have to use all three things to decode these. Um, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but you can see that the information there is incredibly detailed. So um, yeah, for better or for worse, that's what we're dealing with in this lab.